video. So um, I've been doing music uh, really all my life, but for about, for about the last two, three years is when I was able to take it professionally. A lot of opportunities came, so you know I started taking it in a different route, and here I am. Good. What What got you into hip hop and bringing that into intertwining into your uh, Venezuelan culture? Absolutely, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, recognize the flag. Um, so really hip hop is, is, you know, as you know, it's a worldwide thing, like people um, all over the world listen to this, but in Venezuela, at the, as the time that I was growing up, it was like, it was the 90s, uh, hip hop that was, you know, it was a very heavy, so of course as a young kid, um, I was, I was raised by that. And so, um, as I come here to Houston, uh, music is everything, you know what I mean? Like, the Houston community, they're, they're so involved in the music, and if anything, the music makes Houston what it is, in, in my eyes. You know, a lot of people will disagree with that, but I think that the uh, music in Houston really influenced me to be who I am. So you say Houston music influenced you. So what artists in general influenced your style? And uh, who do you listen to now? And who did you listen to in the past growing up as a boy in Venezuela? Right. So um, shout out to Guerrilla Seca, which is a group from Venezuela. They're already a part. They actually got beef with each other nowadays. So it's like, that's how far it's been, you know? But uh, man, growing up, of course, SPM, j Dog, uh, ESG World, um, look, Kiki, like everybody from Houston, you know what I mean? Like I was, I got captured by that by that circle of um, UGK, um, I mean SPM's label and all of that, um, dope and house. Dope House, and, and really everything, everybody in Houston influenced me just a little bit, but I wouldn't say they changed the way that my sound was, because I always knew that what I wanted to do with my sound, which was incorporate the hip-hop community with the Latin community, so I always knew I was going to go with that. Me equivoco, soy un ser humano, no lo niego, lo admito, te mentí en el pasado. También me mentiste así que hagamos eso a un lado De la manera en que me besas no me has olvidado Así que escucha de una vez lo que te digo Alex hoy viene a ganarse tu cariño Soy yo la ley mi no No me vengo a rendir No, 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 no looked up to their hustle and, and how they came up because if you think about it, Houston is one of those cities that the hardest from here, they really hustle their way up, you know what I mean? Like it's not like LA or some, or some city where everything is, um, like LA or some city where it's just access to everything. Houston, like people really work for their, for their stuff, they really come out the trunk and whatnot, so I really appreciate their hustle and um, that's one of the things that really influenced me as an artist coming up here in Houston. Si enfócate en la vida, pero hazlo de tu manera. Si haces música o estudias objetos que vuelan. Si te enfocas en la guitarra o te enfoques en la escuela. Si encuentras novia nueva, carro nuevo, escuela nueva. Mis pensamientos no caminan, corren en mi mente. Okay, so, one more question. How long have you been in Houston and what part of Houston have you resided in while you've been here? Um, so I've been in Houston over a decade now. Over a decade, about 13 years. And um, I live on the north side of Houston, but to be completely honest, as a musician, I've stayed everywhere, you know what I mean? I've stayed in the south, Pasadena, uh, I've been as far as here, and really all over Texas, like I, I travel all over Texas, pushing the music, uh, really all over the US. I uh, just came back from uh, uh, Louisiana, I don't know if you guys ever heard about uh, R&B group called Sons of Funk. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, I'm actually. That's uh, no women, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I actually just came on back, came back from tour with them. Okay. Um, Sons of Funk is actually bringing back the uh, the R&B, but mixed with like a little bit of hip hop. Barrio algún día un leyen sabe cómo solucionar todo lo que se enfrente. Muchas personas oran esto. Esta mentalidad, cualidad que me ha creado rollo de peso. Okay, so when can we expect the project from you? Uh, where can everybody find you on social media? Where can everybody find your music? Yes, sir. Just let everybody know that. Absolutely. So uh, project coming out this summer. I got like y'all heard. I uh, hope you guys heard. Um, the the what, what was playing is summer vibes all day long you know what i mean like i'm really trying to bring that summer vibes and this uh this summer you guys are going to hear a lot of that on the radio just know it's alex soy my instagram is es alex soy you guys can follow me on all my social platforms they're the same if you help me get to 100k i promise you i'm gonna do something huge for the city so yeah i expect you guys to see me on my instagram e s a l e x s o y
the garage apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yeah. Tweet, photos, videos, Let me share some real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the garage apartment radio on YouTube.